Morning, folks. Cats, dogs, turtles, hippopotamuses. Bring that up a little closer. Come one, come all. Welcome to is it day number three. What's the date? I don't know, and I don't care. Let's see. 11th, 12th. Today should be the 13th of June. It would be a Monday, and uh, it's day number three of my vacation. So where are we at today, folks? We are... Can you guys see it? You see the... Right there? Back there? Mossy Rock. Yeah, yeah. First time being back at Mossy Rock this year. Pretty excited. So, y'all guessed it. We are fishing the Little Southwest. Um, it's raining out today. It started raining earlier than the old uh, liar machine. That was a mosquito. The liar machine had dictated. The liar machine told us that it was going to start raining after one and only be like a millimeter an hour. Well, we've probably already gotten close to a millimeter in the last half an hour that it started raining. So, <laughs> anywho, uh, pretty excited. Gonna get boots on. Uh, rod's already rigged up. Be using my single hand today. This season, folks, I uh, obviously there's pools that I like to fish where I need a spay um, switch, really. Uh, more so for lack of room for a back cast. But gonna be using my single hand a lot more this year uh, than anything. And we'll see how I do. So anyways, folks, you all know the drill. We're gonna go down, get Riverside, get in the water. And yeah, we're chasing the June bright Atlantic salmon fly fishing, uh, of course. Um, yeah, I'll catch and release here in Atlantic Canada, in the province of New Brunswick. There's no retention for these fish. So we are out, catch and release. is a kind of sport fishery. June fish are always tricky to catch. They're a little bit of a mental mind tease because they don't tend to hold in the pools too long at all uh, or stay in any one given spot for very long. They're always on the move. So you just need to be in the right spot at the right time. And uh, you know, the more you have a line and a fly in the water, the more of a chance you have it. Hook them one of these June fish and man, are they fun to hook because they're uh, generally usually a little bit bigger and they're right in off the ocean, just coming into the system. So they're full of energy. It's like hooking a, a wild horse of the ocean, freshwater streams. <laughs> Welcome to Atlantic Salmon Fishing, folks. <laughs> Stay tuned. Hopefully we can show you some of that action. Thanks very much for watching, folks. And welcome again to another day of chasing Atlantic Salmon here on the Mary Machine, New Brunswick, Canada. Look at that, folks. Isn't that cool? So that would be a, a pretty small cow moose with this year's spring calf. Like that's just the first, that's the, that calf was just born this spring for sure. Shit, she's walking right towards me.
Now, I'm not sure what Mama and the kid are going to do, but they're kind of walking towards me, which isn't what I like to see. <laughs> I will very quickly get out of the way if I need to. That, uh, that little baby moose is adorable. Oh my god. I don't, I've never seen one that small like up this close like that fish is less than 100 there's fish. those moose are less than 100 yards from me look at that little thing that thing's adorable folks this is what it's all about i live for this oh we got our first chub we're in the chub hole Oh, easy. Say hi to the camera. What have you been eating? He's got a black bug in his mouth. the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 don't need a bank no I'm funded play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something don't take for granted stay humble now wake up it's time to look at the enemy look in the mirror if he is no friend to me it's not working out maybe it's the chemistry it's time to break up so I can make a better me better believe in your mind cause it's everything you can mold shape find anything all it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity it's mind over everything and when i feel like this i'm immortal when i feel like this i'm immortal when i feel like Oh. Hey folks, what are you guys doing? What are your turtles up to? Huh? What are your hippopotamuses up to? Oh, I've dropped everything. Did they remember to subscribe to the channel? Or to give a thumbs up to today's episode? <laughs> well, if they didn't, you should remind them. Uh, 
All right, folks, so we fished Mossy Rock Pool. It's great to be back there. Really cool friggin' ninjas of the New Brunswick woods are out and about today. Uh, moose there, and it's a uh, cow moose and a calf. This year's calf, like a couple weeks ago calf, uh, and across about 50 yards above me there. So I fished through the pool, did two passes, and all I got was a chub. Uh, oh, and a shrimp. So now we are downstream at a pool that I like to call Blue Balls. Um, hopefully we don't get cold stone blue balled at Blue Balls. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. This is a really nice spot. Uh, good set of rapids, fast moving water, deep water. I've never been successful here, but I am going to put my time into this pool this year for sure and try and figure it out. All right, folks, the bugs are terrible here. I've already taken one cologne bath in Watkins. I don't know if I need to take another bath in Watkins bug dope or not, but uh, we'll see. They're leaving me alone. So that's the way it's gonna hopefully stay. But anyways, we will check in when uh, we get down to uh, blue balls. All right, folks. <laughs> Man, is it moving through here? Is there even a beach? Oh yeah, there's a beach. Wow, look at the water here. It's fast. Oh, crazy. How am I gonna fix this? Oh, I already know. Man, that's... wow. Okay, right on. Oh. Huh? Definitely fish the fast water. And then, uh, definitely fish some of the slower water. All right, folks. Throw a tarp up here real fast. And find myself a stick, a dry spot. We'll touch in, uh, hopefully with a fish on my line. In the pool. Well, folks, here's my second shelter, and it's raining harder, and I'm on a beach, so I had to do a freestand, so um, I made this one a little nicer. I, uh, as far as tarpology goes, I made this tent tarp nice and taut. Nice and taut. Toit or taut? It's nice and taut. Now. If I had my bug net, <laughs> Alright, we'll jump out in the rain for a second. There. Free pitch tarp shelter. Just a steak. And there we be. That's all that needs to be, folks. Simple, keeps you out of the rain. Gives you a little home. I love this tarp. A lot of use out of it. A lot more use to come. I really like this pool, folks. I need to learn how to hook fish here.
Oh, look at this. We're gonna wrap her up for uh, day number three. We're actually just outside of Moncton. We're gonna go home for uh, the night and tomorrow and have a shower, hang out with the wife. It's uh, rained all day today and it's gonna rain all night. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. The rivers are already coming up, so there's gonna be a good grazing water. Fishing was definitely slow on the salmon side of things. Uh, the last three days, he wasn't very many fish hooked. I think there was a fish hooked up the today. Um, I wouldn't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, that's good. Um, I heard fish etiquette was an issue, so I don't know. <laughs> I'll stop. <laughs> Um, yeah, folks, hope everybody enjoyed this episode. Uh, it was definitely rainy today. Like I said, day number three of vacation. We're going to take a break. There's no sense in burning yourself out beating water. The June fish are tricky to hook because there's not a lot of them. The main run of fish isn't here yet. This is the first run, the first uh, the start fish that come in. They come in, you know, a couple of times, a pot at a time, maybe. Who knows? They, they come in, they come in pretty quick, and they hammer through. So their uh, June fishing is usually slow, um, but I mean, it's not like I'm not used to fishing in June, I know the story. Um, and yeah, just listening to some advice and I think not burning myself out would probably be smart. Yeah, I got two weeks off. <laughs> so anyways folks, thank you very much again for watching. If, uh, no, I don't think there's anything else I need to add in there. Unless you guys got anything, feel free to put it down in the comment section. We will see you on day number five, day number four. We will see what day we get back up to the river. We'll be long, just a day or two. All right, folks, we'll check back in once the river's out again. <laughs>